Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. This is a video about me changing my old leaking radiator to a lovely Radtech upgraded radiator and fan. Here is a sneak preview. So let's get into the video. It was hard to show on video but my radiator was leaking in a few places, here was one. Also the same location on the front which had a lot of small stones in which I'm sure was related. Also here but on the other side where one of the hoses connects. I don't know how long this radiator has been on the car, it could be the original so 10 years old. All I know is it's leaking in a few places, it's definitely past its best, so it's time for a new one. I did some research online and it seemed like there were two main options. First, a straight swap from Caterham or a radiator from Radtech. I saw a few owners saying that they had a Radtech one, so I wanted to give it a try. Here they are next to each other, well, front to front. As you can see, the Radtech radiator is slightly wider and has a bigger fan to aid cooling. I emailed Radtech before buying the radiator to make sure I was buying the right one and Gavin was very helpful and knowledgeable. First a disclaimer. After doing my research this is the radiator I chose but I'm not saying it's the best radiator to use as I'm not an expert in any way. I suggest that you do your own research to choose which radiator you think is right. This is the first time that I've changed the radiator so I'm learning as I go. I might have done something wrong, so have a look in the comments before copying anything I do, in case there's any updates. I know it's only a radiator, but it looks like a lot of time and pride has gone into making this, and it's lovely craftsmanship, but more on that later. First I need to drain the old coolant out, so I took out the bottom drain bolts out of the, out of the radiator. Then I take the coolant reservoir cap off to help it drain more. The flow started to stop, so I thought about taking out the top bolt in the radiator, which also helped for a bit. I left it like this for a few minutes till it had mainly stopped. Radtech had advised to use blue coolant instead of the red, so I needed to flush the system. I probably should have used distilled water, but I didn't have any, so I used a hose pipe instead. I put some water through and then took off the two hoses connected to the radiator and then put some more water through until it ran clear. I 
I also made sure I collected the used coolant to take to the tip later. About five litres came out the first time, so I knew that I needed to replace with about five litres later. When the clear water had stopped coming out, it was time to take off the old radiator. First I needed to disconnect the fan, including the zip ties that were holding the cable. There are four nuts on the front of the radiator that need to get taken off. At first I wasn't sure if it was both sides of the kind of rubber bobbin, um, but it's, it's just the front. Now to take the radiator off. Now to take the fan off. To put the new radiator on, it's just what I did in reverse. I replaced the coolant with blue coolant and I used this one. I think I've bled through the coolant, but I will double check the levels the next few times I take her out to make sure. As there is still salt on the roads, I've not gone for a test drive yet. I will report back after I've covered a few hundred miles to let you know if I notice any difference between the Radtech and the standard Catron radiator. Here is the Radtech radiator on the car. I think it looks great in black, and it looks lovely compared to the Catron radiator. When I turned the car on to bleed the system, the fan was definitely more powerful, which has got to be a good thing. I've probably said it too much, but the craftsmanship really is lovely, I think. I couldn't replace the washers and nuts with the old rusty ones, so I used some black washers that I already had and some new nuts. I know these nuts shouldn't be on there, um, so they will be replaced with normal black ones. I will leave a link to the Radtech website in the description. If you are unsure which radiator to buy, just email them as they are really knowledgeable and helpful. Hopefully you have found this video interesting and helpful. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see some more pictures, then have a look on my Instagram account. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.